Absolutely love that. And now you mentioned uh, going out, Wolf Wall Street, drinking, partying. Mm. Do you think uh, to get to the level that you're at or just to really level up in life, do you think you have to cut that out, cut out those weekends if you really want to become the best version of yourself? Uh, to be honest, yes. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll be honest. Like, look, now I still have a drink now and again. Yeah. I know I haven't been drinking for quite a few weeks. And when mm. I say drink, I would only ever have two drinks. I would never really get drunk. Mm. I like feeling fresh in the mornings, uh, especially when you're doing mind work. Like in yes. terms of like, to get ultra successful, it's in your mind. You can't get rich like, with labor, like physically building things, even yeah. though we appreciate those people or whatever, like they're not multi, multi-millionaires. Like it, the rest of it's done working smarter, not harder. Yeah. So you need to be in a good state of mind. Uh, you're not going to meet good people around you in the pub. Like, let's be honest. Yeah. So, like, you are who you hang around with. And I think, uh, yeah, that starts with, like, not having a party phase. Like, you need, you do need to cut that out, especially if yeah. you're not in a position to. Yeah. Like, if you're in a position where you've made good money and you've made a few millions, then now you can loosen up now and again, for yeah. sure. But, like, because then it's, it's only little increments. You've got businesses running. You've got employees. You've got staff. You've got money coming in. You've got recurring income. You can afford to do that now and again. But when you're first getting started or you're not at that stage, you should sacrifice that for sure. Like, don't sacrifice not having good experiences in life, for sure. But just going out on the drink every weekend, you're not going to learn anything from that and it's not going to be a benefit at all. It's yeah. only a downside. Uh, yeah, there, there's there's no pros. I remember in 2014, 15 and 16, they were my kind of come up years when I was laying the foundation in Ireland. Yeah. And I think I probably went out maybe a handful of times in those three years. You know, And they, I look back on that and people sometimes say to me, they're like, I was like 22 at the time. And they're like, oh, do you not like miss, you know, your, your early 20s? Do you not think you missed out? I missed out on absolutely nothing. Mm-hmm. Missed out on absolutely nothing. And there, I'm so glad I did those three years. And then recently, I just did four months of, you know, complete sober, no going out. I had the competition prep, but it was a little bit more of that. Me and Adam were speaking before, the best month of business in my entire life last month and I really think it's because of just that focus and you know essentially going into monk mode and so monk mode it means it can be different for a lot of people do you ever go into a period of monk mode and what does it entail for you yeah I think we discussed this uh the talk yesterday yeah on the roof yeah Yeah, so so monk mode for me is uh like if you want to get a big project done so for for example uh i had i had a book to finish that that comes out now uh so that was where i had to go into a a phase of like two three months of monk mode same when i was building other elements of my program out Uh, but i think more it's in spurt so i said like to your audience like fire mode is what I yes. teach in my program so that's where you've got two hours of phone off emails off and you're working on the highest income generating task that you can do to move the needle forward to bring the income two hours block down if you can get fire mode done every single day consistently you'll do more in those two hours than most people do in eight so that's what I would say is having mini fire modes because a lot of people buzz off the the monk mode yeah. thing. But you <laughs> Gets can't, views. Yeah, you. <laughs> of course. Yeah. But you can't, yeah. it's not consistent enough and it's like most people don't really do what monk mode would be. So I think, and it's very extreme. So it needs to be for projects as opposed to like a, a daily weekly habit. I would say it's just chunks of two hour blocks of getting like the highest leverage task done. Yeah.